and welcome back to Dartmoor. Been a bit of a while. Um, I have been out here, but just not filming because the camera's been knackered. out today with Jay. We're heading up on top of Cosden and then beyond. We've just set off from Belston which is down that way and uh, yeah a bit of a mooch, a bit of training. If you've watched Jay's last video, uh, Wandering Jay on YouTube, um, you'll have heard that we've, uh, we've got places on the TGO challenge here next May so we're going to be out here as much as possible doing some training getting miles in and lots of hills so yeah like I said we're heading up on top of Cosden and then beyond we're a bit restricted today because the ranges are all open so uh, having to keep out of the ranges but there's plenty of uh, more land that's outside the ranges so uh, bring you back shortly so hopefully you can hear me. We're on top of Cosden now, give you a quick spin around. Uh, you probably can't make it out from here, you can see the flags are flying. And we're going to head in that direction, uh, that direction, to a uh, little hand tour in a second and then carry on that way. So yeah, like I say, it's quite windy. Bring you back in a bit. Just dropped off of Cosden. Just come up to the Stone Circle by uh, Little Hound Tour. Jay's just quickly getting his map out to have a look what the name of it is. So uh, I'll put that in text on the, on the video. I was just saying to Jay, the last two times that I've been around here, there's been a tent in the middle of this. Yeah, quite a small one. You might be able to see the flag flying now on Steeperton. A few gunshots you can hear. Yeah. Might hear something more overnight because the ranges are active overnight as well, so we'll wait and see anyway we're going to uh, carry on and a few little showers come through nothing massive but uh, yeah bring you back in a little while Just making our way down from uh, the stone circle of Scorrel. Kestor Rock up there. A little clap a bit down there. Can see the witching stone. Stone with a hole in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be pitching up probably in the next hour or so. And uh, there'll be a bit of a surprise. So yeah, bring you back shortly. This spot that you start with like right back across. We 
found a nice little spot by the river. The river's just over there. And we're going to pitch up here. So what you see next might come as a bit of a shock. Um, You're going to get booted off that website. Yeah, I might get kicked off a few uh, a few forums. groups, a few forums. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll find somewhere for each of us to pitch and then uh, bring it back in a little while. Well, welcome back again. Um, from what you've just seen, you'll have seen a new shelter. It's a uh, Hilliburg Enan. That's the first time I've actually pitched it. Um, it's been up in my living room. I'll put a picture into the uh, into the video of that. I think I need to sort out these ends a little bit because there's a bit of flappiness going on. Uh, and somebody else that I know that's got one has got guy lines coming off of these to pull it a bit more taut. So yeah, it's a lot heavier than what I'm uh, used to using, but there is quite a lot of space in there. If I open it up quickly. I've got my uh, cumulus quilt with me today and the full size x light pad. My pack's down there with the spare poles. It's a nice large vestibule. So, yeah, hopefully uh, it'll be alright. And then Jay's got his Hilleberg Una yep. out with him today. Second outing, Jay? Yep. Let's uh, give you a spin of that. Very nice size. Loads of room inside as well. I think we've got a little vessel, I know they said it has. Enough to yeah. yeah. Does the door opens all the way? Opens all the way as well. See. So I've just got it pegged out as a half door, so you can open it all up. That's nice. That's a good bloody size, isn't it? Yeah. It's two kilos. Yeah. So we'll see how this fares tonight I do need to sort that out because that's gonna drive me insane that shouldn't be flapping like that there is a tension strap here perhaps I need to play with that a bit I'll have a look um, so yeah years ago I did have an acto and it used to drive me insane because it used to flap in the in my face but the uh, the inner of this is upright, so where your head is, it's the, the inner's off your face, uh, so to speak. So yeah, I'll have a quick play, tidy it up a little bit. And then I think it's time for a brew. And perhaps some food. Yeah, bring you back in a little while.
So yeah, we're expecting temperatures down to about, I think it said two degrees, possibly a little bit lower. So we'll wait and see on that, um, get some dinner on in a little while. I've been up since about half past three yesterday afternoon. Um, I came straight out with Jay after finishing the night shift. So I will probably sleep quite well tonight. Um, so yeah, not much really to say. Nothing happens through the night, I'll um, bring you back. Might try and get some uh, night laps, but it's quite cloudy, so I don't know whether anything will actually show up. But we'll see. So, um, yeah, bring you back later on. Restless night's sleep. I didn't sleep very well at all last night. Um, had a bit of rain on and off. Temperatures didn't go down about four degrees last night, I'd have thought. But, um, yeah, let's give you a quick newsy outside. A bit misty. coffee on and um, some breakfast and we'll probably pack down and uh, head off so bring you back in a little bit that's a little bit lighter give you a quick spin around in here in the vestibule um, my packs in there my waterproof trousers shoes stove I had the stove here last night cooking there's plenty of room the other side. And then I've got other bits and bobs up there. It's a bit red coming out on camera, I think. But, uh, and there's plenty of room to move around in here. So, yeah. Welcome back again. If you look at Jay's video, it's going to be exactly the same as this. <laughs> All packed up. No trace left. We're heading up that way to the Scurll Stone Circle. Mists are in. I like walking in weather like this. Yeah, so uh, we'll give you a spin when we're up there and on the way back to the car. Welcome back. We're at. Uh, Scorrel. The... Scorrel. I only said it ten minutes ago. <laughs> Stone Circle. Yeah. Jay says it's rare for nobody bit to be here, so. I've never been here. No it's the first time. Well, there you go. A rare treat. So I'm going to cover the camera back up because it's raining, and I'll bring you back along the walk. It'd be raining now. We are uh, not overly far from the car to be fair. Probably a couple of miles. And uh, we're going back the way we came because of the weather. The uh, other routes have got a Ford involved or boggy ground around the bottom of Cosden. So, yeah, 
I probably won't do much more filming because of the weather. We're just heading up to the White Moor Stone. I think Jay called it just a second ago. My memory is shocking. White Moor, yeah. White Moor. And you can probably just about make out beyond that the stone circle. And then on top of that hill in the moss is a little hound tort. And then Cosden beyond that. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching if I don't do any more filming. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Hopefully there won't be so much of a gap between the next video and uh, there has been with this one. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and catch you later.